Solid-state batteries have captured significant attention in recent years, with experts like Sandy Monroe praising their potential to revolutionize EV. Market battery companies have made notable breakthroughs showcasing prototypes and advancing research in this cutting-edge technology now with Tesla preparing to launch its new lineup of vehicles in 2025. The company seems poised to incorporate solid-state batteries into its models. How do expert and industry leaders view this breakthrough technology and how will it enhance Tesla's performance compared to traditional lithium-ion batteries? Let's dive into find. How is solid-state battery the kiss of death for gasoline cars? Sandy Monroe thinks so. Out one, how is solid-state battery the kiss of death for gasoline cars? Sandy Monroe thinks so. Sandy Monroe, renowned for his non-nonsense evaluations of automotive engineering, has never shied away from controversy dubbed the tear. Titan, he famously criticized Tesla's early vehicles, sparking innovations like the Giga casting technology used today. Now Monroe is an outspoken fan of Tesla's advancements calling their 4680. Batteries sell the best lithium-ion option on the market, however, at the SAE World. Congress 2023, he shifted the spotlight to solid-state batteries, declaring them the kiss of death for gasoline and diesel vehicles. Tesla's 4680 cells built using technology acquired from Spring. Power for just $3 have set the benchmark for lithium-ion batteries these cells. Offer six times the power, five times the energy, and a 16% boost in range compared to the 2,170 cells they replace, all while reducing the manufacturing footprint by two thirds. Despite this, the 4680's liquid electrolyte means it's not yet classified as solid state, Monroe noted. Ever that solid state technology is already in limited use, such as in heavy duty applications like buses that utilize lithium metal polymer designs. Though these systems require operating temperatures of 176 degrees Fahrenheit, the solid-state field is rapidly advancing with companies like QuantumScape promising energy densities of up to 400 watt-hours per kilogram and solid energy solutions developing lithium metal designs with ultra-lightweight titanium anodes. Saku has even demonstrated a 3D printing method for manufacturing these batteries. Yet challenges remain Monroe described. The production process as akin to taping potato chips together with double-sided tape despite the solid-state batteries. Charge faster, are safer, and boast two to eight times higher energy densities than traditional lithium-ion cells while eliminating the need for hazardous. Materials Monroe's prediction is clear. Once solid-state batteries reach full, production internal combustion engines will have no path forward, he stated. Unequivocally, there will be no Comparison between today's technology or any petroleum-based alternative solid. State is the kiss of death for gasoline. And how is Tesla eyeing a partnership with Cherry's groundbreaking solid-state battery line? Diesel 2, how is Tesla eyeing a partnership with Schur's groundbreaking solid-state battery line Sherry has made? A bold claim the company will establish. The world's first GW hour scale fully. Solid-state battery production line in Wuhu Anu province according to Anu. Daily, the facility is set to include a 5 GW hour solid state battery R&D center alongside a highly automated integrated production line. The initial line with a design capacity of 1.25 GA hours is touted as the first of its kind globally to reach GA hour scale production for solid state batteries. Equipment shipments began arriving at the plant site in Wu's economic and technological development zone on November 18th, signaling rapid progress. Tour production a new on a new energy. Technology the company spearheading the initiative claims significant advantages for its solid state batteries over. Traditional designs GA licks in the general. Manager highlighted that these batteries promise greater safety, environmental friendliness, and energy density improvements. The first generation batteries are expected to exceed an energy density of 280 W hours per killed by 2025 second generation batteries are projected to surpass 400 WS per Kogum while a third generation slated for 2027 is targeting an impressive 500 W hours per kg. The production process itself is groundbreaking. Anwar has streamlined the traditionally lengthy battery manufacturing process, reducing in it from 11 steps to just five by eliminating procedures such as sing, compressing and liquid injection, and by 
adopting dry electrode production for both anodes and cathodes, the company expects to cut fixed asset investments by 30% and energy consumption by 20% if successfully implemented this. Efficiency leap could redefine battery. Production economics, Sherry's ambitious. Move places it ahead in the solid state. Raise a sector are already attracting. Massive investments from automakers like Toyota, Volkswagen, Hyundai, and Mercedes-Benz, even battery giants like Kel are vying for dominance in this. Space Sherry has also previewed its own solid-state equipped concept vehicles, hinting at its plans to bring the technology directly to consumers with Tesla continuously seeking cutting-edge. Battery solutions, Sure's innovation may open doors for strategic partnerships. The time aligns with Tesla's plans for its 2025 vehicle lineup potentially, leveraging the advancements in solid state batteries to maintain its edge in EV performance and efficiency could this collaboration be the next big step in reshaping the EV landscape only time. Will, why does Tesla need solid state batteries for bigger EVs? Tell three why does Tesla need solid state batteries for bigger EVs? Tesla's move towards solid state battery technology is more than just a technological upgrade. IT addresses a growing demand for larger, family-oriented electric vehicles. Recently, Elon Musk signaled his approval to produce larger Tesla models after users on X formerly Twitter highlighted the need for bigger. EVS user at RealPi shared his frustration during a visit to a Tesla showroom stating yesterday, I went to my local Tesla store just to confirm the Model X isn't big enough for my family. It really isn't his sentiment was echoed by S.E. Naimi who emphasized we need bigger Teslas for bigger families Musk's. Response to the post was simple but definitive okay, the need for larger. Teslas isn't limited to Western markets. While spacious EVS may appeal to families in the U.S. and Europe, they also hold significant potential in regions like Asia and the Middle East where multigenerational living and larger Households are common these larger vehicles, however, pose challenges that solid-state batteries are uniquely positioned to solve solid-state. Batteries offer higher energy density, meaning they can deliver greater range and performance without increasing the vehicle weight or size a critical factor. For larger, EVS Tesla's commitment to efficiency and sustainability aligns perfectly with the benefits of solid-state technology, which is not only safer but also reduces environmental impact as Musk continues. To explore expands in Tesla's lineup, solid-state batteries could provide the foundation for scaling up while maintaining the brand's reputation for innovation and practicality expanding on this need many. Families like mine never truly fit into a single car for trips we often travel. As a large group requiring at least three vehicles to transport everyone one time we rented a large van for a getaway to the Poconos but even that wasn't Enough once everyone's luggage was. Fact in family milestones like graduations and special dinners are a big deal and our gatherings often take up a disproportionate amount of parking. Space a larger Tesla would resonate with far more people than Musk might realize. It's not just about having more kids as a pair myself, I understand that more. Kids also mean more caretakers in places like the Philippines' extended family, uncles, aunts, grandparents, and even Cousins play an active role in family, life requiring at least one or two additional vehicles for group activities. Last year, when my parents and two sisters visited, we had seven people, including my husband's son and me while our SUV seated everyone we had to borrow, my uncle's truck to accommodate luggage, and make trips across the Philippines. More manageable when Tesla unveiled the robo-van, I was initially excited but slightly disappointed by its bus-like proportions of Tesla just slightly larger, lure than the Model X or Model Y, but smaller than a robo van with ample cargo space could be the ideal solution for families worldwide. This hypothetical model could be a stretched version of the Model Y offering increased seating a longer range and competitive pricing. Such a vehicle would fill a gap in Tesla's lineup appealing to markets, desiring larger cars, but unable to afford the premium pricing of the Model X. Currently, the Tesla Model Y stands as the best-selling EV globally available in over 80 countries, yet the demand for a larger, family-oriented vehicle persists. Introducing a bigger SUV or a versatile van would not only reinforce Tesla's market leadership but also expand its reach into the lucrative family vehicle.
Segment, ensuring its dominance for years. Two, how has Tesla's charging infrastructure kept up with the demands of solid-state batteries? Come for how has Tesla's charging infrastructure kept up with the demands of solid-state batteries Tesla's. Charging network has seen remarkable advancements since the first. Supercharger was introduced in 2012, delivering a modest 90 kW over the years. Tesla's engineers have consistently upgraded the supercharger system, culminating in the debut of the 6.4 cabinet in 2023 designed to elevate the EV charging. Experience this latest iteration. Supports up 500 kW charging for cars and 1.2 MW for the Tesla Semi the V4. Cabinet offers several game-changing features it supports architectures, ranging from 400 volts to 1,000 volts, enabling faster charging for vehicles, like the Cybertrue which now benefits from 30% quicker. Speeds, however, Tesla's current lineup of S3XY vehicles continues to charge at a maximum of 250 kW, the same output provided by the V3 cabinets. This allows for a 200M recharge in just 15 minutes. Ensuring Tesla's cars remain competitive with the ability to power up to eight supercharger stations per cabinet double. The capacity of its predecessors V4 also accelerates the deployment of new stations addressing the growing demand for EV. Infrastructure, the hardware itself, represents a leap forward boasting. Triple the power density of earlier designs, reducing costs and increasing. Throughput Tesla has confirmed that the first V4 equipped stations are in the permitting phase and will begin operation by 2025 for solid-state batteries, which are expected to handle higher voltages and faster charging rates. Tesla's V4 technology is already a step ahead. The support for 1,000-volt architectures aligns well with these next-generation batteries, ensuring that the infrastructure can accommodate future Tesla models equipped with solid-state cells. Moreover, non-Tesla EVS like the Porsche Taycan and Kia EV6 will also benefit highlighting the versatility of Tesla's network in the evolving EV market, while current Tesla vehicles, apart from the Cybertrue, don't yet utilize the full potential of the V4. Cabinets the system's forward compatibility with solid-state battery. Demands positions Tesla as a leader in charging technology ready to support the future of electric mobility as Tesla transitions from V3 to V for the company internally refers to its current supercharger stations as version 3.5 as they integrate elements of both old and new technology. However, Tesla plans to begin constructing fully-fledged V4 supercharger stations, soon signaling the next stage of its charging evolution. A major breakthrough in the V4 cabinet is the integration of next generation power electronics. These new systems provide three times the power density compared to previous models enabling faster and more reliable charging with these. Advancements Tesla is also reducing overall operational costs, making the V4 cabinet one of the most reliable and efficient EV charging solutions available today in terms of deployment. Tesla has yet to reveal the first locations for the V4. Superchargers, however, similar to previous expansions of V4 cabinets are expected to make their debut in Europe followed by North America and eventually some Asian markets, including Hong Kong. Outro, with Tesla's 2025 vehicles set to include solid-state batteries, we are on the cusp of a transformative shift in the EV industry. These batteries offer promising benefits from higher energy densities and faster charging to improve safety positioning Tesla to maintain its leadership in the market. It will solid-state technology truly be the kiss of death for gasoline cars as some Experts claim how will this impact the overall electric vehicle experience in the coming years. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest Tesla developments.